Alright guys, it doesn't matter if it's current gen or next gen. I'm going to show y'all guys how to stop the pick and roll offense. But first, I'm going to show y'all the settings. And then I'm going to give y'all three examples of how to do it. It don't matter if it's playing online or my team or my league. But first, I'm going to show y'all how to go to defensive settings. You go to game plan and then you go to defensive settings right here. And then after that, you see it says on ball pressure. You can put it smurder or you can put tight. It don't matter. But if you play against guys like Seth Curry or, or you play we play my team when everybody can shoot, by the time then, they, you might as well put smurder defense because everybody can shoot very good in this game. You can't leave them open. Now, all ball pressure, don't don't put to deny ball. It's not going to work. If you want to, but you're going to get beat by a backdoor cut, so you don't want to get hit by that. Now, you can play tight, so so keep it safe. Now, false direction, it could be in the middle, not baseline. Okay, now, hash, you can leave that automatic. Don't worry about that. But with a big man with a center, you can put catch hash because you want them to play between the between the pick and roll. You want you want guys to take the mid range jumper. A lot of guys don't like taking mid range jumper in today's game. They can take a three or drive to the whim. So that way they will meet the center. It's up to you. If you want to guard the pick and roll, or you can control the center. It don't matter. This right here, this is the key. Stay attached. That means that well, well like, I'm gonna give you an example. When Kawhi Leonard guarding Steph Curry, he gonna be on him at all time. It will not switch with the pick and roll with the power four and the center. It will not switch at all. He gonna stay on him. So. You have to put that yes. If you don't do that, it automatically going to switch. So make sure you put that yes at all times to, to prevent that. Now, uh, what else? What else? What else? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. Make sure you put no help. What is it helps? All right. You see it says screen help rules? Make sure you put no all time. No help. Dry help rules. No help because you want to stop the pick roll on your own. Because sometimes with, with guys do pick roll so much, they're gonna force the CPU to collapse on the corners. You don't want that. So make sure you put no help. Now, if you really want no help, make sure you go to the coaching sliders. And then you see it says help defense. Make sure you put that zero, right? So just in case, decide to help. Because sometimes in this game, the game is so broken, sometimes they don't listen to your demands. So make sure you go to coaching sliders to make sure they don't help at all. So that way you can stop the pick and roll. Example number one, I'm gonna show y'all guys how to hedge against great shooters like Steph Curry and Dame Dollar. In this situation, I'm gonna use the center to show y'all an example how to stop the pick and roll. Now freeze. You see, I pretend that I'm gonna stop Steph Curry, but I want him to pass the ball. It's like a bait almost. So what you do is you gotta do you gotta run back real quick and stop him with a block shot or get in front of him. Example number two, I'm gonna show you how to on ball against a pick and roll. In this situation, you need to go under the screen because you want to force opponent to shoot the ball with Russell Westbrook. You see, freeze. You want your opponent to have a hard time with the pick and roll. He got to pick his poison, A, to shoot the ball, or B, pass the ball. Any or he's stuck in that situation. So that's what you want him to do, to feel stuck. And this is how you force a turnover or you get stops. Example number three, I'm going to show y'all guys how to avoid getting stuck on the screens. Okay, now freeze. Make sure you study your opponent's weakness because that's very important how to stop the pick and roll. To avoid getting stuck in the animation screens, you go around it or you go under. So that way you can force this guy to shoot because he'll not shoot with Alonso Ball. He got a slow jumper. 